So we've been invited to... Oh, sorry, that's my phone. Buzzed. From the Ministry of Spies. They've just finished a massive homeland marathon. They've sent me a secret, secret location to, to meet them. Well, I better go quick. I quickly made my way to the secret location where I was met by Dave who explained my mission, to follow Ian Parsons and find out and foil his secret plan to attack an unknown federal facility. We tracked him to a secret office where when the moment was right, we broke in and Dave explained what we were looking for. Right, we have a phone minus. device oh. that was placed <laughs> in this office that wasn't placed by me, so I don't know where it is. It looks like this. The way that this works is omnidirectional, which means when I locate it onto it, it will start literally beeping. Okay. Under a desk, maybe? Again, if you move anything, you've got to make sure it's put back boom, boom, into position. Boom! Bug detected! I may have slightly got lost in Piccadilly, but then we relocated our target heading towards a hotel. And after some more sleuthing, we broke into his room to find any more information. Conveniently, in an open safe, the jackpot, coded messages. Then just as quick as we got in, we were out before the target suspected anything. Now our target headed to the final location where he'd put his evil plan into action. A bomb on the Belfast. It was now a race against time to decode the messages we found in the safe and deactivate the bomb. So what's so it going to So it has to be go white, white, red, black, blue? I don't know, you tell me. Um, so let's just check the belt. Do we know the whites first? We don't. Why have I put that down? Why do we know the I think by process of elimination. So yeah. basically blue has to be last because it has to come after black. Black can't be second, so it can't be first or last. So it has to be something, something black, blue. Yeah. So what, where, oh, where the, 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 the first break? break. break. So the first break is a red. So, so it's easy. white, white red, black, 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 blue. <laughs> white, what was the next white one? Red. red. Hold your ears because it will make a very loud bang. <laughs> Black. Just someone else sticks on the offer. Sticks here. Last one. Hold your ears. Do it. Is it going to make a noise? Sorry. This is the guy I've been following around all day. He's been giving me my, my orders. Thank you very much for talking to me today. Um, so can you give us a quick sort of rundown of what we've done today and what we've been learning? Certainly. Well, the idea today was really try and create a scenario where yourself were part of a surveillance team following a particular individual and try and look at some of the skills that you would normally use on a surveillance operation. So, for example, following somebody in and out of addresses, following somebody on foot, onto the tube, utilising public transport, gaining evidence, gaining information, gaining intelligence. So a couple of scenarios, we went into some pre uh, premises, went into an office address, looked for a bugging device that we would normally look to either retrieve or put in place. So the idea being is really try and give you an, uh, an experience where you do what a surveillance team would do or surveillance operator would do, following somebody around, getting the information, getting the intelligence and ultimately recording it and hopefully not losing them at the same time. So I bet by now you're wondering, who am I working for? The good guys or the bad guys or maybe both? But there is one thing for sure, after all today's training, you'll never know. So if you do need some spy tips, make sure you check out Homeland Season 3 on DVD.